Hello everybody, Nathan here, and today we're going to be looking at how to install custom texture packs in Mindtest on Windows. Now I did a video like this previously on Linux, um, but I understand not every single Mindtest player in the world uses Linux, so I had a few requests to do one for on Windows, so that's what we're doing right now. This is Windows XP. I understand it's it's very old. However, all of your steps should be the same. Obviously, you're going to need MindTest installed. And then you are going to want to go to the MindTest website, either to MindTest.net, or you could just go directly to the forms. Um, but we'll go to the main website here, and we'll just click on Customize, and we'll do Texture Packs. And we have some popular texture packs listed here, and we have a link to the form as well with all the other texture packs. I'm just going to go ahead and use this Pure BD Test which it actually links me to the form and we'll just take a look these are some of the textures which yeah, you know it looks it looks pretty cool I mean I'm not gonna complain about it uh, it's definitely not a 16 by 16 texture pack but that's alright and we will just go ahead and click the download button right there and we're going to go ahead and download it I don't know why they're asking me to do that I just want to download I guess there's an outdated Chances are you won't have any of these issues. I'm just having them because I'm running XP and it's super old. Here we go. Okay, so we will save this file. Now I um I believe this is like 16, yeah, 17 megabytes, so it'll take a few seconds to download. So while that is downloading, let's go ahead and open the respective folders we need. Obviously, we want to go to our downloads where we will be finding the texture pack once it's downloaded and we will go to my computer and you're gonna be looking for your chances are local disk C and then if you went with the system-wide installation by default it'll install to C games mind test if you installed it to something different than that you will need to know where you installed it to know where to put your textures we will go ahead and open the zip file here with the Texture BD Craft, and here we'll see all of the different textures. We're going to go ahead and click on this part, this folder here, and we want to put that into our textures folder in C Games My Test. So we will open that up, and you'll see there's base here, which this is pretty much like your the stuff that the game itself actually needs. So these are not every sub game pretty much can use these textures without actually including them. They're kind of core objects to the game. Um, and right here we actually have a text file that tells you put them right here. So we'll just go ahead and drag and drop that over. It'll extract everything. I guess it'll extract it twice. All right, there we go. So then we'll go ahead and launch my test. And I'll put this into full screen. And we will find a world that exists. And we'll hit play and... Yes, my mouse is still messed up. Super. Let me just create a world here. Super good name, I know. Nope, my mouse. Oh, come on. I don't know if I should be blaming my mouse. Okay, there we go. I will, I'll just leave it alone. I won't touch the mouse because it's going to mess things up. So this is the default texture pack. This is what we would see normally. Now, if we want to change this to use that new texture pack we just downloaded, we will obviously go back to the menu here. And we're going to click on the big texture packs button. And you'll see here right now we have none. And we will click test BD craft which will give us this little thumbnail. In this case, there's no information available. Some texture packs will give you some information. Just select it. That's all there is. Go back into the game. Hit play. Voila. The new texture pack. Um, yeah, I wish I could kind of show you around. Wow. That's, uh, that's a pretty nice looking dead bush there. But unfortunately, due to some error that I don't know what it is, my mouse refuses to work on <laughs> Windows in the game. 
It'll work on anything else just fine. And the game works just fine when I play it on Linux with this mouse. So I'm not sure what the issue is, but that's all there is to it. You're basically just downloading a texture pack from the forums or wherever, extracting the files, and dropping them right into the texture direct directory in my test. So I hope that helped you guys out. If there's any other videos you would like, please let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to get to those. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.